This man is Seth Mayhem Mitchell. He steps into the ring with a wife, two kids, a college degree, and the ashes of old dreams on his shoulders. But the ashes of old dreams can set fire to new dreams. He calls himself a warrior, a Spartan. He fights for his family, his friends, his community. His big shoulders carry heavy expectations and the dreams of others. This man is on a journey. This, tonight, this fight, this is the next step. And the dream is on the other side of the bell. One, two, one, two. One, two, one, two. Left five, cut hook. That right hand. We're in Clinton, Maryland at my gym of Kirby Road Dream Team, Dream Team Boxing. Uh, come here, this is, this is my home, this is where I train at. Uh, we're in the heart of training camp. We got about three and a half weeks to go. Breaking my body down, but uh, it's what I gotta do to be prepared to go to battle on December 10th, and uh, I'll be ready. I'm hurting right now. I'm tired, but I feel good, it's a good hurt. It, it hurts. It's, it's mentally and physically draining, but I know that I'm doing it for a reason. I know why I'm doing it. I know that uh, after the fight, when uh, you know they say, you know, I'm still undefeated, and they raise my hand in, in victory, you know, that's the best feeling. Find it. There you go. Find it. I knew you had it. I want to hurt here. I don't want to hurt in the ring. Right now, it's just it's straight training. It's it's just. Eat, sleep, run, train. Eat, sleep, run, train is the same thing over and over again. So it's not, it's not, I'm not having fun right now. But I, I see my children when I'm training. I see my wife because that's, you know, that's who I'm fighting for. Come on. Come on. Come on. Ten seconds. Let's go. Come on, go, 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 go. Come on. Let's go. Come on. Come on. The thing that I have been most impressed with Seth, I think it really goes beyond the ring. It's that he is uh, truly a man of uh, true grit and integrity, and uh, I've been very impressed with him as a family man. The moment that he crosses those white lines or gets into the ring, he can become the most focused, violent, vicious, competitive person you'll ever want to meet. And the moment it's over, he absolutely turns it off. He has that killer instinct when he's in the ring, and it's like when he sees that he gets the person hurt, he's going to jump on him. He's not going to waver for a second. But at home, it's a totally different case. He's great with our baby, who's a year old. He's the best dad, if you let my uh, daughter Arielle tell it. Talk, you know how to hold the phone, and you can't walk. You ought to see him around his kids and his wife and to see him around his mom. Um, you know, those are the things that make you want to celebrate and be a part of who he is. Draw, draw. He talked about having a family and how many children he wanted from probably the first time I ever met him. You know, and that's what Seth's always wanted. That's just my life. I mean, I enjoy being a husband and I enjoy being a father. Which? What? Good job. Everything that I do is, is not about me, it's about you know, my family, my, my inner circle. So, you know, when I, when I'm home playing with, playing with Ariel, playing with Austin, and you know, that I know that's why I'm doing what I'm doing. And then when I'm in the ring and I'm th like, you're trying to, you know, stop me from providing for them. Nah, not saying that I can't, but you're gonna have a, a tough night ahead of you. You gotta get this on camera. Washing dishes, cleaning up the house, Feeding the baby, putting him to sleep, and getting splinters out. Renaissance man. I do everything. I do everything. Definitely uh, not always easy, um, especially my, my early childhood. You know, I witnessed a lot of um, stuff that uh, a second or third grader, you know, shouldn't have, shouldn't have witnessed. Seth really wasn't given a lot of opportunity in the beginning of his life, and he's made the very best of it. This is, this is the infamous Tower Road. This is why I 
where I grew up at. One point in time, it was 11 of us living in a three bedroom, one bathroom house. Uh, my mom and uh, you know my aunt and her her two children. We all we all grew up here. It was a it was a lot of love, but um it was it was cramped at times. Tower Road, where he was raised, not the Taj Mahal, uh, and that's no slam on Tower Road. They're very honest, hardworking people that live on Tower Road. Seth did not grow up with a silver spoon in his mouth by no stretch of the imagination. It was uh, rather tough for his mom to raise, uh, you know, his brothers and sisters. He didn't have um, a real relationship growing up with his own dad. It was like eighth or ninth grade was the first time I saw him, and I've only saw him twice, and I think I spoke to him five, five times since then, so, you know, didn't really have a relationship with my father. I, I, I separated, we separated, and I, and I took the children, okay? And we came to Maryland. Now, I never stopped him from coming to see them, but he didn't, so we didn't leave it at that. I think probably the absence of his father makes him want to be that much of a better father to his children. He wasn't around, so you know I didn't really you know learn anything from him. Um, I, I I've learned that uh, I'm gonna always be with my children. It's just pretty hard to, to grow up without a dad, but now he had at least 17 coaches that were around him that was his dad. We couldn't love him more if I'd given birth to him. He's just like our own child, basically. He has really become more of a son than a player uh, over the years. He's very lucky and very fortunate to have such people that back him. Um, but I think that that really speaks to the kind of person he is, that when you get to know him, um, he's so, you get the sense that he's very truthful and that he's so kind that I think people like the idea of supporting someone um, who they feel is a good person, and he really is.